Recently, a leak was posted on X that claimed that the screen on the device will not be completely flat. According to the user, who goes by the handle Rota Super, the screen will have a 0.3 to 0.4 mm curve on the bezel, which would dispute any claims of Samsung aiming for a completely flat screen in their next device. These leaked images would contradict the previous rumors that Samsung was aiming to flatten the screen. The leak also claims that the top and bottom bezel sizes are half the size of the S23 Ultra, while the bezels on the left and right are the same size as the previous model. This suggests that Samsung is aiming to reduce the screen curvature on their Ultra model. The screen curve has been an issue for some users on prior models, mainly while using the S Pen. There have been complaints about using the pen on a curved screen, as the pen can slip down the side of the screen while in use. Samsung knows about the issue and may have minimized the curve on the S23 Ultra to try and compensate. Moving on, since the first rumors of Apple adopting titanium for the iPhone 15 Pro emerged, there have been predictions of Samsung following suit with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. According to a new report in the Korean publication The Elec, the frame case will switch from aluminum to titanium when it appears next year, with the metal alloy being processed by a Chinese company called Solomon. The report claims that around 15 million titanium cases are in the works, which is the number of S24 Ultra units the company expects to shift. The site adds that a low yield could increase the component cost by four to five times its current $20 price tag, which means it's not exactly a risk-free move. Samsung's plans to expand the use of titanium are tentative at this point. The company plans to expand the application depending on reception, which could mean the Samsung Galaxy S25 range in 2025, or perhaps even future foldables, where added toughness would be a big advantage if the weight could be controlled. Apart from the screen, the S24 Ultra is also expected to get a new 50 megapixels telephoto lens, an upgrade from the current 10 megapixels one, and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in every region. But the most fundamental change for the device could be a software one, with Samsung planning to embrace generative AI in its upcoming handsets. Finally, Samsung will be aiming to keep pace with Google's software smarts, and we're already seeing the benefits of AI on the likes of the Google Pixel 8 Pro. So mark your calendars as Samsung is expected to unveil the Galaxy S24 range at an event in San Francisco on January 17, with a release date of Friday, February 2. So share your thought in the comment section. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.